guys, welcome again to ITS Information Technology Skills. So for today's video, we're going to talk about Python loop control statements. So ano nga ba yung loop control statements in Python? So these are used to change the execution from its normal sequence. So ginagamit tong mga control statements para mabago yung execution no loop. Okay, so we have this common loop control statements. We have the continuous statement break statement, and else. So, ano nga ba yung continuous statement? With the continuous statement, we can stop the current iteration and continue with the next. So, to better understand that, we have this example. Okay, so, kung titignan nyo, we have this code na if i is equal to 3, meron tayo yung keyword na continue. And if we're going to run this program, ang output po niya, guys, ganyan. Observe, wala yung 3 dun sa output. Ba't kaya na wala yung 3? Because yung continuous statement is used to skip. So basically, skip niya yung part na the value of i is equal to 3. So hindi niya gagawin yun, mag-stop siya dun and pupunta ulit siya dun sa next iteration. Another example, we have this for loop. Okay, so for example, meron tayong list, name fruit, and those are the elements. And inside the for loop, meron tayong if x is equal to banana, meron ulit yung continue na keyword. So if we're going to run this program, ganyan po yung output. Observe, Wala po yung word na banana. but kaya? Kasi in-skip gamit po yung continue na keyword. Another, we have the break statement. With the break statement, we can stop the loop even the condition is true. So, ibig sabihin, andyan yung keyword na break, titigil na daw or mag stop na daw yung loop. So, we have this example. Observe, we have if i equals to 3, ginamit natin ngayon yung keyword na break. So, basically, mag stop daw yung program kapag yung value ng i is equal to 3. So, if we're going to run this program, ganyan na lang po yung output niya. 1 and 2. Nag-stop na po siya sa 3. So, to sum it up, yung gamit ng break is to end or stop. The next, we have this code. Okay, so, sa loop na to, Meron ulit tayo ng if x is equal to banana and meron siyang keyword na break. So, for going to run the program, isipin natin ang output lang po niya is display lang yung apple. Okay? Kasi, second element na po yung banana. So, ibig sabihin, yung first element lang yung maprepit. Or, once na ang value ng x is banana, mag stop na po yung loop. The next, we have the else statement. With the else statement, we can run a block of code once when the condition is no longer true. So, yung gamit naman guys ng else statement, iranan niya yung code na yon or yung block of code na yon kapag nag-false na yung loop. Okay? So, we have this code. So, sa baba, makikita nyo, we have the else print i is no longer less than 4. So, big sabihin yan, guys, once na the value of i is equal to 4 or higher, mag stop na po yung loop, tsaka niya gagawin yung code under the else keyword. So, for going to run this program, we have this output. So, observe, nag-print muna siya ng i. Then, nakalagay dyan, i is no longer less than 4. So, once na nag-false na po yung condition, Ang next na gagawin is the else. Next example, we have this code. So, here, meron tayong else ulit sa baba. Print, finally, finish. So, yung output po nyan, guys, it will print all the element inside the list name fruit. And then, once na na-print nyan na lahat, the condition is false na kapag na-print na lahat. Tsaka nyo gagawin yung else. Kaya, mag-print yung Finally finished. So that's it guys. 
kung may katanungan pa kayo, just comment down below at sasagutan natin yan isa-isa. Para sa iba pang tutorial videos, just visit this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe at hit ang notification